My friend, it's Hunter from Interactive, and in today's video, I'm going to show you how to create this bloom effect inside of Blender using cycles. Now, this is a compositing trick, so it's done after you hit render. And you, what you'll need to do to make sure to get this effect is make sure you've got some light or some highlights in your image. Now, I'm currently recording this section for my course over at our site, and there's loads of other content to do with product visualization in Blender. So if you're interested, go check it out. However, what we need to do is make sure that here we have a nice highlight. And so I've got that in this case. And so once we've got that, we can hit render and we need to render the full scene before we can actually start compositing because Blender needs a sample image or an image to start working with and it helps us to know what the effect will look like. So now that that's rendered out, what I can do is jump over to the compositing tab, which is just at the top. And we should have this. Um, we just have to check use nodes if you haven't up here and this will pop up so we can use this. And so what I want to do now is I'm just going to click and drag these, separate these. So basically how this is working is this is the render layer. So this is what we've told Blender to render. And this comes from the view layer up here. And so this is a little bit more complicated, but it's just like a controlled layer that we can use. And so we can use view layers to composite different effects together. And we can use view layers to separate lighting, things like that. And so what I do here is I'm going to the render layer or the view layer down here goes directly into the image, which is a composite. And this is happens by default in Blender, but we want to add some things in here. So the first thing I want to add in is, is a viewer node. And so basically what I can do is shift A and we can click the search button here. And we want to search for the viewer. That'll pop this open and it'll pop in this viewer here and we can move around this scene. We can also click the viewer and drag it from this X in the center and rescale this from the boxes around here. But we need the viewer to be visible. So what I need to do is grab the image and plug that into the viewer from the render layer. So now it's going to the composite, which means it's going to be rendered and the composite will be applied. And it will also show in the background here. And so what we can do now is we want to add something in between the render layer and the compositor here. So we want to add our effects in here. And so what I'm going to do is shift A but before I do that, I'm going to hold down shift, then right mouse click and hold and just draw a line across these two. So you can see here, it creates a split in our connection. And that means that we can split this and we can add something in here. So for now I go shift A and I'll search and I'll go glare. And so then we can put our glare in here just by clicking. And you can see here, it automatically goes to both. So we can get some really cool effects with a glare straight off. So our first effect here is the uh, streaks. And so we can change the size of the streaks, um, high, medium, low. And this I think is got to do with the threshold of light. So how bright a light does it have to be before it will streak? And so then you can also control the threshold here. So we want to change the streaks down to a fog glow. And so you'll see that it's uh, slowly grabbing the effect. Let's change it back to medium. Wait for it to populate, try low. And you can see we can get different effects by changing this. We can also change the here. Yeah, we can change the threshold of light. The lower we go, the more that it will grab the light. And the higher we go, the less bright the light has to be. All right, so let's put it something like 0.5. And you could adjust this the higher 
will have less. So let's go 0 0.5, 0 0.6 maybe, and you can tweak that. Okay, so that's our layer there. And then so now when you go and render the image, it'll power through that render. And right at the end of the render, what it will do is go through this and go, okay, we've rendered this layer. What have we added in between? And so you can see there we've, uh, we've got our effect. But it'll go render this layer. What have we got in between? We've got a glare and then it'll pump it out into the composite. And so then that's the reason why we go render, view render. This happens after. And so compositing is a really powerful trick to add a lot to your scene. And it's really easy to do. So what I'll do now is just go image and then you can save as and save your image into wherever you would like. All right, that's it for this video. If you enjoy my teaching style and enjoy the product visualization topic inside of Blender, be sure to check out my course down in the link below where I teach you how to create wine bottle renders, uh, packaging renders, and we're gonna go into a lot more topics. So it's just one course and I'll just keep releasing new content to it for lifetime and you'll get access to that for a lifetime all right i hope to see you in the next video